The infamous water level, a gamer's worst nightmare. What could have inspired these frustrating level designs? The answer? Water. Many historic texts allude to this strange, otherworldly nectar. Water has, supposedly, existed for billions of years, and it may surprise you to know that it exists in your very own home. But how did it get there? Primitive gamers would often have the unfortunate task of having to move to obtain this strange liquid, but as gaming communities grew, the need for water grew as well. Many gamers would settle around these waterways known as rivers. Whoa, 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 hey, 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 hey! So that more time could be spent gaming rather than taking too many breaks to drink. However, some gamers were playing the Dark Souls of being alive and settled in areas that were limited in water supply. Transporting waters to these communities was difficult until the aqueduct was created. Aqueducts allow water to be transported to areas without reliable water sources, cutting down the grind ancient gamers undertook to obtain water. The first gamers to create the aqueduct system were the Minoans, however it was the Roman gamers who used them on a massive scale. Desperate to boost player numbers even more, they built massive aqueducts to send clean, fresh water to gaming communities all over Europe. These aqueducts would work by using gravity, a force gamers are very used to, to send the water to cities straight from the source. However, siphons were also used to basically shoot the water up just quick enough for it to reach the aqueduct where it would then flow. Unfortunately, a lot of these siphons were built using lead which had ill effects on the Roman gamers. The aqueduct would incrementally slope downward, allowing water to flow for miles. Although aqueducts weren't the first choice for transporting water by the Roman gamers, that goes to pipe systems, they were still very helpful. Sadly for the Roman gamers, poor management and the firing of certain moderators led to unfortunate circumstances for Rome. As for the aqueducts themselves, the dark forces were persistent and destroyed some of the aqueducts. Almost. The ones that were still sending were being used less and less as player numbers diminished. The aqueduct system wouldn't die with Rome, fortunately. During the Byzantine era of gaming, restoration efforts were put in place to repair parts of the aqueduct system. Also, during the Renaissance, a pretty much gamers decided to explore other avenues in gaming. Aqueducts were making a comeback. During this era, one very important aqueduct that was damaged was the Aqua Virgin, which was repaired and sent water to the Cherry Fountain. No longer would gamers be subjected to manual labor in the form of walking to drink water in this area. The Aqua Virgin is actually still in use today, though gamers have been consuming less and less water and prefer the alternatives. Aqueducts are still part of the current meta, though not a huge part of it. In the early 1900s, the LA gaming community was in a bit of trouble. More and more gamers would show up to game in LA, which meant they needed more water. The current source for said water was running dry, and the demand continued to increase. So the city had a plan. They looked to what the ancient Roman gamers created thousands of years ago and got to work. The gaming engineers decided that the Owens Valley Lake would be perfect due to it receiving a huge amount of snow runoff from the Sierra Nevada Mountains, enough so that it was almost overflowing. The lake was a bit selfish, however, and had its tributary blocked off from volcanic eruption mean the water couldn't be released back into the river system. Gamers were in desperate need of water, so the engineers got to work. LA built an impressive 226 mile aqueduct that carried water from the Owens Valley Lake to the gamers of LA. Parts of the aqueduct were built underground and others above ground. The most impressive part of this is that the water would be transported purely by gravity. The gamers of LA could breathe a sigh of relief and spend more time gaming and less time worrying about water troubles. This bliss only lasted for about 10 years. The intense growth of the LA gaming community led to the Owens Valley Lake being sucked almost entirely dry of water. This had the unfortunate consequence of depleting the fish supply as well. The moderators of the LA gaming community began to go after groundwater. This led to many agriculture gamers becoming upset and even using dynamite to blow up key parts of the aqueduct. Ah, uh, that's okay, you can keep it. Unfazed by the angry gamers, the moderators of LA kept buying up more and more land to ensure it had enough water to supply its ever-growing player numbers. <laughs> LA would build another aqueduct around 1970 that would supply the gamers with water from the Hiawee Reservoir. Aqueducts are an integral aspect of the gaming community's existence. We all know streaming 18 hours a day can really take a toll on the average gamer, and water has helped gamers maintain their energy. Although many gamers today consume less and less water and more alternatives that give them a stronger boost, it doesn't change the fact that water has been incredibly integral to the gamer's existence. Dark forces have always tried to interfere in the gamer's ease of access to water, but the gamer always comes out on top.